the best design iPhone is not the iPhone 15 Pro, it's not going to be the iPhone 16 Pro, uh, it's not the iPhone 14, 13, none of those. The best design iPhone came out in 2010. And every presenter at the Apple keynotes afterwards would probably argue with me on this one because every year they say it's the new one is the best design phone yet. Uh, but I think this iPhone gives the rest of them a pretty big run for their money. And that phone is the iPhone 4. The iPhone 4's official release date was June 24th, 2010. Uh, that was a whopping 14 years ago, which is insane. But I don't think Apple has designed a better phone since. Now, design is very subjective, but the iPhone 4 is when Apple really took design seriously with their phones. Now, if you go back to the iPhone 2G, or the first generation iPhone, it's made out of aluminum and plastic, got some pretty chunky bezels. The background is iconic. After this, with the iPhone 3G and the iPhone 3GS, they actually went to plastic backs, probably so they could get better cellular reception. But after the iPhone 3GS, they released the iPhone 4. The iPhone 4 was the first iPhone with front glass as well as back glass, and it also had an aluminum frame. And Apple has actually gone back to this design in their most recent phones because it's an amazing design, and I personally think it's their best one yet. Had a few flaws though. If you really gripped both the sides like this, uh, for some reason it would make you lose cellular reception, uh, which they ended up actually giving everyone uh, what they called a bumper case, which would go around the sides of the phone, which pretty much fixed it. Um, but they also fixed that issue in the iPhone 4S, which was basically the exact same design. There was just one little difference, uh, but I don't have an iPhone 4S for you here, so just got the iPhone 4. So this phone is also a little bit um, nostalgic to me, not only because I enjoy retro Apple devices, but also because this was my first ever smartphone. This was my first ever iPhone. I did have dumb phones before this. Here is my actual first ever phone. Uh, boom. Nice big keyboard. I don't know if any of you had a phone like this. This is the LG Banter, I think is what this one was called. Um, but my first ever smartphone was the iPhone 4. It was my brother's. I think I either bought it from him or he gave it to me. I don't remember, but I loved my iPhone 4. So right now I have iOS 7 on this iPhone. Uh, I think it originally came probably with iOS 4. It has iOS 7 on it right now and it runs decently smooth uh, and it's crazy just how iconic iOS 7 is. It was when they went from a more skeuomorphic design to the modern flat design that we actually still have currently. The iPhone 4 launched with 8, 16, and 32 gigabytes of storage, which is not a lot in today's world. Uh, maybe you could get by with 32, but you can't. It's it's not a lot in today's world. But 32 gigabytes uh, back in 2010 was a lot, uh, and 16 gigabytes was enough, and 8 gigabytes was also enough. Plus, pretty soon, streaming songs started becoming a thing with Spotify, and uh, I was always on Google Play Music. So anyone who had Google Play Music, uh, you know, go go off in the comments below uh, which you like better: Google Play Music, YouTube Music, Spotify, Apple Music. You know. The iPhone 4 screen size was three and a half inches, which uh, seems just absolutely tiny in today's world. I'll show it to you compared to my iPhone 13 Pro. Uh, and yes, uh, this is what my screen protector looks like on my iPhone 13 Pro. This is what normal people's iPhones look like. Uh, so I'm not cleaning it up for this. But as you can see, the screen size changed drastically. Now, the iPhone 4 did launch with two cameras. Uh, you have your rear-facing camera, and then you have your front-facing camera. The rear camera, honestly, with enough light, is not that bad. The front-facing camera is pretty bad, um, but this stuff was still brand new. FaceTime was just launching. A front-facing camera was uh, something that the world hadn't seen before, and FaceTime became the face of video calling. Now this is crazy. The iPhone 4 launched with 512 megabytes of RAM, uh, which is not a lot, 
but Apple does really well with memory processing and they have for a long time. The iPhone 4 was also released when Apple didn't have the lightning port yet. Uh, they still had the 30 pin dock connector. You know, it was the, the port that Apple had at the moment and they eventually switched to lightning and now they're eventually at USB-C until they probably just get rid of the port altogether. Uh, and finally, the last thing I wanna talk about, about the design of the iPhone is the camera, just a flat, camera no camera bump uh just how nice is that i know cameras are super powerful on phones they're they're getting just as good as uh dslr cameras which is fantastic but there's something about just a flat top and flat bottom of uh of an iphone iphone 4 specifically but yeah this is just a quick little look at my, my favorite designed iPhone. If you want more videos like this, let me know in the comments below. Uh, let me know if you had an iPhone and let me know what your first iPhone, what your first smartphone, or what, what the hell, what your first phone ever was. Uh, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one. So who got first? Cause I'm all in. A little reckless, but I usually win. I got no plans. I do this as I go.